ReSharper also provides capabilities around refactoring our inheritance and interface hierarchies, allowing us to extract superclasses, extract interfaces, convert interfaces into abstract base classes, and also to use our base type where possible. In this example, we have two classes, cat and dog, and we've realized that we can extract an abstract base class because they share some common properties, ID and name, as well as a common method called speak. I can do this in ReSharper by using the refactor this, extract superclass. ReSharper prompts us for a base class name, which we'll call animal. We'll select the ID and name properties, as well as the speak method, and we'll make speak abstract so that each type of animal can override it. Per is specific to cats, and therefore we won't extract it. You'll notice that ReSharper has placed the two properties in the abstract base class, along with an abstract speak, and provided the appropriate override with the previous method contents in cat. Coming down to dog, we can make it derive from animal now. ReSharper's noting that we are hiding methods and properties in our base class. I can simply delete those, and ReSharper provides a quick fix to note that speak should be an override. Going to where dog and cat are actually used, you'll see that in this case, neither variable depends on that instance being a dog or a cat, only on it being the new base class animal that we've introduced. So let's come down to cat, and I'm going to do a refactor this, use base type where possible. ReSharper is going to say which base type because it derives from both object and animal. So I'm going to choose animal. I can optionally choose to replace the is and type of operators with animal rather than cat if that's in my code base. And I'll hit next. It will suggest renaming symbols. So rather than using the cat variable name, I'll use the animal variable name. And you'll notice that the type here is now animal. We could do the same thing for dog, but let's throw ReSharper a curveball. Let's call the dog's fetch method. Fetch is only available on dogs, on instances of dog. Now when we come down to our dog class and we do a refactor this, use base type where possible and select animal, ReSharper will not change our dog instance to an animal instance because of this fetch method. So ReSharper is smart enough to only change it where it's possible. So this is a great way of introducing an abstract base class and then promoting that, rippling that throughout our code base to use our new base type where it is actually possible. Now let's come down to animal and let's say that we want to have ID and name as part of an abstract, inter we want to use it as an interface for all of our entities. So I'm going to come in down here, say extract interface. I'm going to call this I entity and I will put both the ID and the name in. Press next. Animal now implements I entity. I can perform exactly the same operation of using the base type where possible and selecting the entity in this case. You'll notice that speak is not part of the contract, so it was not able to change it. If I eliminate this call to speak and perform a use base type where possible again, ReSharper will change this variable to type of I entity rather than animal. If we realize that rather than having an I entity interface, we'd rather have it as an abstract base class, we are free to use a refactor this, convert interface to abstract base class, and ReSharper will worry about those details for us. You'll notice that it's put in overrides which aren't really necessary here. And we want to rename 
this to entity. But it's a quick and easy way of changing around our code to either use interfaces or abstract base classes where applicable. If we really decide that an interface would be more appropriate, we can convert the abstract base class back to an interface.